The Biological Explanations for Schizophrenia The first type of study that psychologists will use is family studies. In this they find individuals who suffer from schizophrenia and then look at the biological relatives and the non-biological relatives. They then compare the similarity of how they are affected to the patient. In schizophrenia it is more common for the biological relatives to be similarly affected than the non-biological. Additionally, the more related you are to the patient, the more likely you are to be similarly affected. This was supported in a study that showed that children with two schizophrenic parents had a concordance rate for schizophrenia of 46%, compared to one parent of 13% and siblings at only 9%. The next type of study they will use is twin studies. In this, they take the two different types of twins, identical, which are MZ twins and have 100% of the same genes, and non-identical twins, which are called DZ twins and only share 50% of the genes. They will then compare the concordance rates for a type of disorder. For schizophrenia, the MZ twins have more of a concordance rate than DZ, with 40% for MZ and only 7% for DZ. This suggests that schizophrenia does have a biological basis. More recent studies have shown lower rates of concordance for MZ twins, However, it's still higher than DZ twins, suggesting there is a biological basis for schizophrenia. The next type of study is adoption studies. In this, 6.7% of the adoptees with a biological schizophrenic parent were found to also be schizophrenic, compared to only 2% of adoptees who had non-schizophrenic parents. Next is the dopamine hypothesis. This suggests that in schizophrenic patients, dopamine fires too quickly and too often from receptors. This is because it has been shown that schizophrenic have more dopamine receptors than normal people. Therefore, more dopamine binds and more fires as a result, which causes the schizophrenic symptoms. This was shown in a study on the different drugs that can affect the schizophrenic symptoms. Amphetamines were found to be a dopamine agonist, which stimulate the nerve cells which contain dopamine and therefore cause a flood of that neurotransmitter. Antipsychotics block the action of dopamine, which in turn reduces stimulation and have been shown to reduce the symptoms of schizophrenia. Parkinson's disease was shown to support the dopamine hypothesis. Patients with Parkinson's disease suffer from low levels of dopamine, and therefore they then take a drug which is supposed to raise the dopamine levels. However, this can often have adverse effects, causing schizophrenic symptoms. Evaluation for the biological explanations of schizophrenia. Number one, family studies. There is evidence to suggest that schizophrenia does run in families, supporting the fact that schizophrenia has a biological basis. However, it has been suggested that there may be two influences on this suggestion. Number one, it may be more to do with the common rearing patterns. Number two, the expressed emotion effect, which is a negative emotional climate may lead to stress beyond the coping mechanisms of the patient. Number two, twin studies. A limitation of this explanation is that it assumes the environment of MZ twins and DZ twins is the same, and that the greater concordance rate for schizophrenia between MZ twins is a product of genetic similarity. However, Joseph suggests that the MZ twins are treated more similarly, and therefore the similarities found could be due to the environment rather than the genetic basis. Post-mortem studies. Drugs that are used to block dopamine can in fact increase it due to the neurons having to compensate for the sudden deficiency of dopamine. It has been shown that schizophrenic who has showed raised dopamine levels just before death had taken antipsychotic drugs. Although these are meant to block the dopamine, it shows a link between increased dopamine and drugs. Recently, neuroimaging has been developed to show activity in the brain. However, it is still yet to provide evidence of altered dopamine activity in people who suffer from schizophrenia. The, the evolutionary perspective. This suggests that there must be a biological basis for schizophrenia due to it being found in all cultures across the world. It suggested that schizophrenia may have developed to divide tribal communities which were too big. This would have worked by leaders with a psychotic personality such as schizophrenia would have created a new group with new views all of the time, therefore dividing the bigger and larger groups into smaller ones.